hello everyone we are here here for another example of applet in this example I will show you how to pass parameters through from HTML document to the applet uh, in this example I have taken the string reference called name and integer ID and uh, a reference of integer class uh, integer is a class uh, for in java.lang package so as java.lang is imported automatically so you don't need to import that there are like integer uh, there are primitive types like float character and there are classes uh, corresponding to those types see what I have done in uh, first see the HTML document here this applet uh, tag as usual I uh, told you previously that we can pass parameter using the param tag see param tag we have used two attribute here one is name another is value name is to identify the parameter and value is that value of that parameter we have two parameters called name and ID the value of uh, name is here you can see orco it's me and its ID is 1013 the question is how to access them or how to process them in the applet source code Let's see there is a method called get parameter inside get parameter we pass the name of the parameter that is name that means here this name this name is passed as argument within get parameter and it uh, returns the string value mind it it is the as it is the name is the string uh, name is the string reference so there is no problem it is returning string and we are assigning it to another string type and id id is integer but get parameter returns here string so there is a static method inside integer class called percent which uh, transform a string into an integer for in case of double if you want to transform our double uh, sorry in case of in case you uh, want to change a string into a double type so you will be using double dot parse double and your string literal or string um, reference what you want to pass it as an argument so id here the 1013 yep this value this value is written but it is in form of string so we must parse it as integer if we want to process it one more thing parsint throws a uh, exception that is number format exception so we are uh, calling that method inside the try block and inside the cache block we have uh, written here and we have uh, keep the cache block empty uh, see inside start we have incremented the variable id so as as uh, as we change that string value into integer so we can perform all integer operations that we can perform and then one again once again we have done this the integer reference here i we are instantiating that i with uh, integer and we are passing that integer value of id into i why i have done this i'm um, telling you later on inside paint i have uh, displayed the name that is a string here see inside draw string method it takes three argument that is the string and then position x coordinate and then y coordinate so this integer is not a string so we have to transform it string so we are doing it by calling two string method two string is a method that define in object class as object is the sub uh, super class of all classes that is object is the super class of integer class so uh, an integer object can um, over can uh, uh, inherit that uh, two string method so two string returns the string value of i that is we have processed so see what this output uh, what does this applet um, pro produces the output and here is the value 1013 you remember it uh, i'm show you what happens when we run this applet that is java c java files
see the orco is uh, printed and then 1014 why 1014 cause we received 1013 here here and then uh, parse it as an integer and then we have incremented it that's why 1013 in by incrementing 1 it becomes 1014 so this is how we can uh, pass parameter inside applet and uh, access them using uh, the get parameter method for today's tutorial that's all keep watching this channel and obviously um, give your feedback to us so that we can do much better for you and thanks for watching this video